This is going in the bin. Say it a bit. I'm a silly bugger. I've edited all this video and I forgot to add uh, who's won the giveaway from last week. So the Atlantis Miniatures giveaway is, I'll tell you at some point in this video, catch you in a bit. So guys, yes, it's off in the bin. Um, it's not because I'm stopping using wet palettes, I'm not. Um, I've just, there's a few things about this palette that irritate me. Now, the first one is the fact that it dries out after a couple of days, okay? So, for example, if I'm not here, if I've gone away for the weekend or whatever, I come back, all my paint and everything's dry on it. This is not because it's a bad design. The idea of this paint palette is to be used for, pot, like, actual artists, shall we call them, uh, people that paint on large canvases. It's for keeping the paint wet um, for a long period of time through the day when they're painting. Um, or maybe, you know, a, a day or two. It's, it's designed for that. It's not designed to be a paint palette that you can leave for a couple of days, come back and just carry on. It's only vacuum form plastic. It's not sealed or anything like that. Also, with it having the uh, like the watercolour paper as the, 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 the membrane that the water like stays in, um, that won't hold enough water to stay wet all day either. Uh, so you have to constantly, like, constantly top it up. Um, which isn't a problem if you're painting every day. At the minute, I'm not painting every day, so sometimes I go, I've mixed all my colours up, I'll go, I'll have, got, I'll, I'll have a couple of days off, I'll come back and I'm like, oh, sh I've got to mix it again. Um, so that's one reason why I'm not getting rid of, getting rid of it. Two, it's bloody massive. <laughs> um, I know having a big palette's good, but that thing takes up most of my desk. And especially when you've seen me doing in the other two videos, which I'll link up here, um, it's just, it just takes up all the desk and I can never have it partially in shot because it's just huge. Um, so I want a smaller one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, obviously, it's very common knowledge, um, but I'll show you what I'm using. So for the guys in the UK, um, if you're wanting to use the same materials that I am, then it's easily accessible for you. Um, but that's why I'm making my own. Uh, and then we'll try it out just to make sure it works better or the same. And because it's a sealable uh, container, we should be able to keep that wet for a lot longer, um, hopefully. <laughs> but it's just things like that that really start to annoy me a little bit um, because when you're working on a, a commission um, and then a couple of days later, you're like, you've had weekend off or whatever, you come back in uh, and you're like, oh, I, I've got to remember how to mix some colours again. I mean, luckily they're on your palette so you can match up the colours, but... Getting it exactly the same sometimes just doesn't happen. No matter how much you try and you end up wasting paint. So I really do like wet palettes. So this isn't a video of me shunning the wet palette. I just think I'm going to have a go at making my own. And if I like my own, I might even try like everlasting weight palettes or stuff like that. Or if they're watching, they can send me one. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's show you how I'm going to make it. And then we'll do a couple of tests. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so first up, we're gonna be using um, the George Home sandwich box. It's very small, it's 0.6 uh, liters. So it's a nice size. I mean, this is a tiny cutting mat, as you can see, and it's a lot smaller than that. It's perfect for, for painting what we want, okay? The reason I've gone for it is because it's got the yellow seal, which means it's shall we say, inverted commas, airtight, uh, but that's going to be far better than the than the crappy vacuum form plastic one that I have. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be using as the main wet palette itself. Now, in the UK, we can't find sponges um, that don't have a texture on them. So we have to use super so absorbent sponge cloths. Um, now, there's different textures on each one, so the idea is, is I find one with the least amount of texture. Oh no, not different textures. Um, so we can either go for like a rivet or a thing, but it's on, on a slightly embossed, it's not too bad. As you can see, um, it's it's not too bad at all, it's just a slight, um, slight detailing. 
And then the paper we're going to be using is going to be parchment paper. Um, I'm just using what I've got left from the wet palette. Um, but you want to be using parchment paper. If you don't know what sort of parchment paper or what brands, I will find a couple and put them in my Amazon affiliate links below. Okay. Right. So first off, I'm just going to cut it to size. Um, I'm only going to do it roughly. So we'll get that there like that and just cut it with a pair of scissors. Just double check. No measuring her out here. Just rough as, rough as pig. And uh, we'll chuck that in. A nice size in there with a bit of space around the outside. So that's that sort of. And then it's about cutting the parchment paper to a little bit smaller than that. Um, so I'll cut it in half. Well, not in half, but you know what I mean. That fits in okay. And then we'll cut a bit off there. I'm left-handed trying to cut right-handed because I don't actually own a pair of left-handed scissors. So that's why I can't cut straight to save my life. And then that'll fit on there perfectly. Um, just nice in the tub, ready for, yeah, ready for getting uh, some water in there. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put some water in, we'll get this all set up, we'll try it out, make sure it works as it should. And uh, yeah, all in all, cool little wet palette that will stay wet for hopefully a week or so. Right, so I've got some water. Um, what I've got in this water is I've got some, um, just a splash of ISO, maybe a shot or two of isopropanol. Reason I put that in is just to disinfect it. Um, so when it's in there and for a, a, like a, a long period of time, it will kill anything that wants to grow in there. Plus, as it absorbs through the paper, you will get some form of, shall we say, flow aid, because obviously alcohol re reduces water tension. Um, I have tried it on the other wet palette and it works fine, I haven't had a problem. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great way of keeping flow aid in your water. Um, but you could add normal flow aid to your water and do it that way, but you're not gonna counter the, any bacteria if you've got bad water in your area. Um, so we'll put the paper in. Like that. Let it just roll up and then it will flatten itself out, hopefully. When it's took some water on, it should start to, look at that. It starts to unroll as it takes on the water. So I just leave it for a, a minute or so and let it take on as much water as it needs. It sort of unravels itself. Um, and sometimes you can come in and it's, it's just done it. Um, sometimes it needs a bit of help. Um, it just depends on how the paper is and that should stop rolling now. And what I do is I just pour off a bit of the water. You can see there's quite a lot in there, but not all of it. We'll keep some in the bottom of the sponge has got some water. And that's it. We've got a nice, it's just, just damp to touch, which is perfect. So we'll put some paint on it. And we'll see how this works. All right, so new brush. And then, yeah, we'll get some uh, paint on the model. Already nice, nice and pliable. Working brilliantly. Guys, yep, this is the third video on wet palettes. What have I learned? What I've learned is it's about um, osmosis. It's about the uh, the paper on top pulling the water through. Um, it's not about just wetting the paper and painting on it. So that's why things like baking paper and stuff doesn't work because it's not porous. So you have to use things like parchment paper that do absorb the water uh, and pull through the sponge or the uh, like the watercolor paper. And it pulls it through and it keeps the paint wet and it doesn't over um, over wet the paint. Um, so buying one and using one till I knew how it worked properly has now led me to make my own, which hopefully should be a lot better. So in the next video, you're going to see me painting like some a commission up and you're going to see me using it. Um, and hopefully I'll it'll be, be a good few days, maybe a week or so with that paint on there. 
and you'll just see it stay wet, hopefully. <laughs> but we'll do one more video on wet parts, and I think that's more or less all I'll need to do and cover. Um, but I'll slap it in the playlist if you if this is the first video you've seen. Uh, don't forget to check out the other two, which is me starting out with a wet palette and didn't know what to do. Um, so I've learned pretty quickly. Quite a simple tool and very handy tool to use. But anyway, guys, whoever's here for to find out who has won uh, the competition from last week, the Atlantis Miniatures giveaway, the comment that won is TW. So if you'd like to um, send me uh, information, because I can't go off TW, because I don't know who that is, <laughs> if you can send an email to luke at geekgaming.co.uk, um, and then I'll get sorted out with Dan and I'll get the box out to you in the post. So congratulations, mate, uh, whoever you are. And uh, yeah, posting a picture of you receiving them would be very nice. So if you like what I'm doing, guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, if you want to support me, don't forget to check out my shop uh, where you can get all these scenics and uh, terrain needs. Um, if you're in America or Canada, don't forget to check out my US uh, distributor. It saves on your postage. Um, for everything else, there's Amazon affiliates, which means it's all the stuff that we don't stock, but I use regular that you can buy and I get a bit of a cutback uh, when you buy from there at no extra charge to your pocket. There's Teespring and there's a load of other few bits and pieces in there as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to support me, check that out and I'll see you again for the next video. Love, love, love.